After flashing our HGTV badges and identification, Michelle Miller agreed to show us the manufacturing secrets of the underground pool that is built entirely above ground. The first thing we saw was a group of Hawaiian Pools employees leading what appeared to be a robot dinosaur. In fact, this is a chop gun. It sprays chopped fiberglass fibers along with a sticky vinyl and polyester resin. This is one of our fiberglass molds. This particular mold is uh, a Honolulu, one of our uh, biggest selling pools. This is a lot of wood, a lot of steel, a lot of fiberglass. It's very, very heavy. Um, this is basically the, the mold that it will make upwards of 150, 300 pools. This is a special tooling gel coat, which is orange. This is not the color of our pools. Before we do each pool, it is coated with 12 coats of uh, special wax so that we can pop the pool off without damaging the gel coat on the pool or the uh, gel coat on the mold. The gel coat is like a white or light blue paint that is laid down over the mold before fiberglassing. When the mold is popped out, it will be the finished surface of the inner pool. While one crew is spraying fiberglass chop and resin over the gel coat, another crew is cutting woven fiberglass mat. This will form the final four to five layers of pool. This phase of production looks like the creation of a high school homecoming float, or the world's biggest paper mache project. Workers use hand rollers to smooth out each layer and coat it with resin. We wouldn't be giving you the entire fiberglass pool experience if we didn't mention the smell of resin. It smells like uh, nail polish. Nail polish and nail polish remover. Much like any smell that you're around all the time, uh, you get to a point where you no longer smell it. Uh, when somebody first comes in, they go, wow, what's that smell? But that's the resin, and that's what makes the pool last forever. The freshly fiberglass pools, now one-half to three-quarters of an inch thick, are forklifted outside to dry. Then, the forklift comes along and pops the new swimming pool off its mold. Hawaiian Pools President Bill Lohman explains how the pools are then ready for transport. What we need to do to get ready for shipping is to um, cosmetically grind the, the perimeter just to make it look nice, even though that part will be buried in cement. And then we will uh, cut the holes in the pool itself that will uh, let us put on the type of plumbing that they want at the job site. Normally that means a main drain, a skimmer, um, two or three return inlets and maybe a fitting for a pool vacuum.